P.T. Barnum bought Jumbo the elephant from the London Zoo in 1881. Prior to this, Jumbo had been captured from Ethiopia in 1861 at around a year old and was living in England for 20 years. At that time, he was the runt compared to other elephants. This was because he was sick from poor care at the Paris and London Zoo. Most elephants were Asian elephants, and since Jumbo was an African elephant, the zoos expected him to attract many people, which was correct. Despite Jumbo's success at the London Zoo, he was sold to Barnum because he had been destroying his homes and was difficult to manage. Matthew Scott was one of the few people able to manage Jumbo, so he came with him to America. On April 9, 1882, he arrived in New York City and, and instantly became a hit for Barnum, bringing in $3,000 a day. He traveled with the circus and was known as the Lord of the Beasts and soon became the most famous animal in the world. When fully grown, he stood 11 and a half feet high and weighed 6 and a half tons, or 13,000 pounds. He typically ate 200 pounds of hay, a barrel of potatoes, two bushels of oats, 15 loaves of bread, a slew of onions, and gallons of water. Sadly, while on tour in Canada, Jumbo died tragically on September 15, 1885, by being hit by a train. After his death, he was stuffed and mounted in many museums, and is still remembered today.